Right, so I'm going to do, this isn't a Q&A, I'm going to answer a couple of questions, what's been asked, what people have asked me recently. There's only two or three what I've got to answer. <coughs> so I'll get on to the first one. And this is from Outdoor Eric 10. Now the reason I'm just going to do this video about these two or three is because it's easier for me to show you stuff than write stuff. So Outdoor Eric 10. Hey Malk, I have a question. How do you organise your weekend survival or camping backpacks? And how do you stay organised? I personally keep forgetting where I put things, even at home. And you seem to have a system or something because you always have a target stove or something else in almost every video related to each other. And I wanted to know how you keep yourself organised with all your survival and bushcraft gear. Thanks mate. Well, I'm not 100% sure what you mean there, whether you mean like just my bag or in the house, so I'm going to kind of explain both of it. Well, in, in here is where I store most of my bushcraft and camping things. Well, I'm going to take this camera off of here, and then I'll kind of show you some stuff. This is why it's relatively easy in here. It's all in one room, so, for example, in there, this is mostly kind of stove bits, you know, stove there, buddy burners, thing there, candle thing, you know, kind of stoves and pot holder type things. So I know where they are. Similar to that one, that's my cups with lids, a kettle thing, mess tin. So if I know they're there, and here is some more like stove type thing, there's another one there. I know all that kind of stuff. Let me come back a bit so you can see. I know all that kind of stuff is on those shelves. The more kind of stoves and stuff in there. Now that's obviously the books, you've seen that. Now down there I would regard this as that's a bug out bag. And in those other bags is kind of stuff for bug out stuff, if you know what I mean, bug out gear, which is eventually going to be put into bags, stuff like that. Up here in this, you can't see it, I don't think, apart from this set of tools, it's kind of stoves and pots and pans, but for household use, if the crap at the fan. This is, oh, the cat, this cat bolts there, which haven't been finished. Except for that box of matches and this which has fallen in here. Traps, so there's a fen trap, a fen trap, little mini cage trap, two mouse traps, a uh, tin trap, that's just there because it was going to go on the wall because you can't use these in England. But all the rest you can, there's a net down there and there's some ready made figure fours. <clears throat> some knives and some sharpening stuff there bigger stuff, there's an axe, some more axes down there, in here is more catapults, sling bows etc, string and elastic, just random bits down there, knives in there, all sorts of different ones, ones I use, ones I don't, apart from some things that I've been chucked in there, this was kind of random stuff, I would, unless that's the wrong drawer, Some one of these was random stuff I would take with me, but like little random, like a little torch, a little clip, etc. Oh no, that's the one, sorry. This is stuff I would take camping, so some kind of hot drinks in here, fuel blocks, noodles, um, MREs, torches, etc. Stuff like that in there. That's kind of archery stuff. So there's our arrest of sling blows and lots of different archery bits, strings and arrow points and stuff like that. That's lighters and fire making stuff, but 
See, some of the stuff has been put, took out and put in different places. And in there, it's just random kind of bits. In these drawers down here, I want to get through them. There is like random knives. Not very good ones. Etc. Stuff like that. Um, that's my homemade bag. That's my little. So if I'm going down the woods, I just want, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to forget anything, I'll just take this with me. Normally, in I've showed you this before, but I'll just take that like this. And I know that's got a little bit of everything to use in there. Um, compound bow behind the door with a mirror falling down. It's kind of pots, metal bottles, etc. Stuff like that. A crossbow there. And a bow, a wooden bow, and a fiberglass rod bow, bundle bow. Better clip that on there, otherwise this door's gonna open. All right. So that's that. There is, like I said, oh, in here, this is just random bits of everything. Oh, I remember what's in that one. Down there, there's, looks like bottles and stuff. Oh, and in this bag is just random, just lots of different homemade bits. I wouldn't necessarily say it's organised in here. Oh, down here is stuff like bags, sleeping bags, my hammock, um, tarp, tarps is all down here, folded up in this kind of bed thing, which I use as a table. Another bow there, a couple of jackets. And I have, and there's a bag, I think this bag's full of other bags and bits. There's a blow up um, pillow and stuff there. All right, well that is kind of how it's organized in here. I wouldn't say it's absolutely organized. All right, and as for being organized, if I was going camping or in the bag, well, that might be better if we do another video on that or I could go into more detail about that but I tried to do stuff like in my big bag the sleeping bag at the bottom depends on what time of year it is, wool blanket hammock and all that stuff in the main compartment and then my food on top and then on the side pouches put all sorts of other things but like I said, that would probably be better if we actually do a video about that. I'd pull it all in the bag and actually show you it. Right, so I'll get on to the second question now. Right. So, the second question is a relatively easy one. This is for... I've just got to find it. Mad's dog survival, my mate. Right, this is how to make the digging stick. Right, so I'll put this down a bit. Uh, how to make a digging stick. And he said, what type of wood was that, mate? Judging by the fine shavings coming from the saw, it was a piece of hard stuff. Great rid, mate. Well, that was actually a piece of ash, but it was seasoned. You know, it, was, it wasn't green, fresh green wood. It was seasoned wood. And that's why it seemed pretty hard to the saw. Now, the third question, I think it's a question. Right, now this is regarding the candle stove cooker. I've got to do a demonstration in a minute. <clears throat> right, so his question was, If you remember in the in the candle stove video, I said the candles burn down and come away from your 
the candles burn down and they're gradually the flames are getting lower and lower and lower away from your cup or your pan so I said you need to raise the candles up higher right so lovers A to Z said since heat rises why would you have to raise up the candles I like your videos but sometimes I think you should test out your ideas before you make the video I think it is annoying when someone tries to show a how-to when they have never tried it themselves you have a lot of potential. I hope to see better quality product from you. Thumbs up, mate. Right, I'm just going to give you a demonstration. But not with the candles. We're going to do it with a stove just to show you, right? So, the whole heat rises thing does make sense. But not so much when you're talking about cooking in stoves the principle is there yeah i'm just going to show you this so we're going to imagine this is our candle right So this is our candle burning away, yeah? Or whatever, I suppose this applies to anything, right? The flame is here. Now you want to boil some water. So you put this directly there, right? That'll boil the water. But to say about heat rises, what I meant by you need to raise the candles up to make this efficient, to make the candles over efficient, you really want the bottom of the pan touching the flames like this whereas I suppose the principle of heat rising would be so as the candles burn away your stove would end up like this oh yeah heat is rising but I don't know how long that's going to take to boil that water so what you need to do is you need to raise this up so it gets closer to it and that's what I meant by it. I don't know whether you didn't kind of real, you know, realise I meant that. You know, you try boiling water like that. You know, yeah, the heat's rising, but there's no real, not much heat there. Not as much as heat as there. So, that's why I meant that your candles should be rose you know be risen up to right underneath the stove all the time underneath your pan all the time but obviously candles when they burn they get lower and lower and lower and they just come further and further and further away from your pot or your cup right so that's pretty much the three questions that I wanted to answer hope that kind of answered answered them and if it didn't just leave me another comment and I'll, I'll try and answer it again or whatever all right cheers for watching see you later